the industry has grown. When I started um, in the 80s, uh, it was sort of, you know, I remember talking to my bank at the time and them saying, yes, but Mr. Smith, this isn't a real job, is it? And and it, it, kind, it kind of wasn't because it was a labor of love because I was such a big sports fan. Um, but I'd, I'd left, I'd, uh, I'd been in the record business for years. I was one of the guys behind the uh, Northern Soul movement. And I sold that in 1981 and went to live in Los Angeles for a while. And I just loved what they were doing in sport because what they were doing was a, was a whole industry and it was a family adventure going out every weekend to watch your favorite baseball or basketball or NFL football team or ice hockey team. And um, we didn't have that in, in, in the 80s. In the 80s in, in England, football, which was the core sport, I guess, still, um, people were dying in stadia. You know, we had disasters and, and violence and and uh, Margaret Thatcher at the time wasn't very keen to be supportive of it. But we had this mad idea that we could make it <clears throat> the entertainment center. And we did some, I was very fortunate. I, I, I was introduced to Rupert Murdoch and uh, he sort of took me under his wing and, and I'd been fortunate when I got back to sign a couple of um, iconic sports clients who listened to my plan and went along with it. Um, and, and we started doing things differently. We started doing things uh, like, for instance, I remember talking to Capital Radio uh, here in London at the time and saying to Richard Park, uh, the head guy there, why don't we take this, what's going to be the Premier League, why don't we take it and put it on, instead of take it off of AM radio and put it on FM, because it gives us a whole new audience called women. And so we started doing things slightly differently, and that was... Actually, 30 years ago this week, because the Premier League started 30 years ago this uh, this this week, and it's probably now the biggest emotional export that this country has anywhere in the world. Well, congratulations, a bit of an anniversary there. Um, now, when we think about sort of school leavers and, you know, many students are going to be receiving grades over the next week or so, um, and, and, and many, the research is showing, are sort of put off by the competitiveness of getting into an industry, into the sports industry, um, whether that be on the pitch or off the pitch. You know, what would your advice be to those students or to anyone thinking about doing it? You know, is it attainable? What, what is, the, is there a magic formula as to how you get in? OK, that's a very good question because life is competitive. Um, and the sports industry just is a reflection of of life. There's no magic formula, uh, but what you can do is you can give yourself a few steps up the ladder by knowing um, or possessing a skill set, which is going to attract, uh, which is going to be attractive rather to the um, to the major sports agencies. Um, if you're not presumably going to, if you don't know a few potential clients and start your own agency, then um, the best role is to join one of the bigger agencies of which there are half a dozen uh, big boys and then a raft of smaller ones um, and two skills stand out legal skills obviously it's a very useful talent to have but financial understanding financial management is the heartbeat of our industry the, the first bit is sport obviously the second following on very quickly behind is financial management these are complicated financial transactions that take place with big numbers, lots of zeros. So having the qualification that a company like AAT gives you is takes away the fear of the zeros. Because mm. um, you look on a piece of paper, you see some of these numbers, and you think, oh my god, you know, look at that. Um, the, the, it, it's a complex industry. It's the it's such good fun. It's the I, I would say this, wouldn't I? It's the best industry on the planet. So please come join us, but give yourself a real fillet first. Get some education about financial management and financial acumen.